Hey, coming back to Hawaii for you, is it feeling good for you? You like coming here? It does, man. It's, it's uh, a lot of great memories here, you know. And uh, I think it was eight years ago the last time we were here. It doesn't seem that way. You know, time went by really fast, but a lot of great memories, man. 19 years ago, it was your first camp, Byron Scott's last camp as a Laker. I mean, is it, uh, how does that feel as far as the, the, the 180, the, the coming back? It feels beautiful. I mean, it's the, kind of the cyclical nature of sports, right? And, uh, you know, it feels, uh, you know, it feels good to be in this moment. Do you remember anything from that camp that you can help with teaching D'Angelo as far as his first camp now? Well, I mean, just, just you know, little details about the game here and there, you know, but he's, uh, he loves the game. You know, I mean, uh, when you have a player that loves the game, it's really just my responsibility to uh, make sure he never lose sight, loses sight of it. Right? Through difficult moments and even the great moments, always just focus on the love of the game. Because once you have that, you'll problem solve everything. Right? And once you stay focused on that, so it's my job to really keep that, keep him locked in. There. What impresses you the most about him so far? Great poise. I mean, he has, he has a lot of poise out there. He's, uh, he's, he's very calm under the rest. Doesn't seem really phased by much. Hey, what's this been like the past three weeks for you as you're getting back on the routine? Well, it's been fun. It's been fun, man. I, you know, I've, uh, I've worked pretty hard, so I feel pretty good about where I'm at. And, you, know, it's, uh, you know, it's been exciting, man. I've been looking forward to it. You just talked about the love of basketball, being away from it and having to miss as many games as you have. That love for basketball, has it intensified, you feel like, because of that? Sure. I mean, it only grows stronger and stronger. You know, as time goes on and uh, uh, you know, the appreciation for the game increases even more, which just does nothing more but increase the love for it. It's been a while since you guys have been back in Hawaii. What is it like to have a team back? It was good. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a little strange because I remember like it was yesterday being here and, uh, you know, all of my teammates that were here before that are all now either retired or coaching. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're on TV, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a little strange to look around and see so many young guys. Um, but at the same time, you feel a great sense of responsibility uh, to try to guide them as best as I can. You've been here so many times. You feel like a local already? I felt like a local from day one. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, there's obviously a lot of new faces. Did anyone impress you in any way physically or, or how they um, Really hard to tell. We, we didn't do much in the form of playing today. Um, we did a lot of conditioning. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, it's tough to tell. You use it all? Faithfully? Were you limited at all today? No, I'm not limited, but, you know, we're being smart. I mean, just, you know, it's, you know I'm in uh, great condition. I mean, I could run all day. It's just a matter of not that, having to do it in practice. You don't want to beat up the joints too much. How did Meta look out there today? Look great. Look fine. Same on that? Yeah, yeah, which is a great thing. But what's being smart mean at, the, at this stage of camp? Like, what well, are you, you don't push it too much. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you, you do enough running to get – Get a sweat in, get a nice push, get your legs activated a little bit. But you know, truthfully, my conditioning is at a high level already, so you know, there's no need to push that, right? You don't want to beat up, beat up the joints, beat up the ligaments anymore than you have to. Um, you know, it's more so um, getting some uh, you know, some game activation of the drills that we do, contact drills, timing, things like that. Because I haven't done that in a long time. So. Is this injury, the injury you come back from now? Is there anything like the leg injuries in terms of like trying to test things out? No, so it's a little easy to get through, honestly. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, the truth is, you know, even with a completely torn shoulder, I was playing and shooting. You know, felt strong still. So you know, now that it's fixed up, it should be fine, right? Um, legs are, are different. You know, everything you do on the court centers around the legs. You can't hide that stuff, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's a lot easier than dealing with the lower leg injury. Kobe, even though the shoulder skill, is there anything you have to do post in terms of yeah, yeah, modalities, you know, massage, um, ice, you know, and, uh, it's something that I have to tend to pretty much every day, but, you know, every part of my body is at this point. What's kind of the plan as far as the regimen for the season? Well, I mean, I, I continue to do the training that I've been doing um, and uh, try to get stronger, you know, outside of you know, here at practice. And uh, in practice, really try to get some comp competition reps, uh, get moving defensively. You know, and get the rotations down again, things like that. Is there a plan as far as how much participation in the exhibition games? I, mean, I won't play a whole heck of a lot. I mean, I, you know, I'll play. I think it's right to try to play as many of these preseason games as possible. Um, no, I, I don't expect playing a whole heck of a lot.
know, when, when the season starts at age 37, there's a bunch of young kids coming into the league. How much personal fun is it for you to tame some of these young bucks? <laughs> well, I mean, it's the challenge of competition, right? And trying to figure out what you can and can't do and, you know, try to keep them at bay as much as possible, you know what I mean? Pretty it's exciting. Kid. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. <laughs> OG status. <laughs> you said yesterday the whole meeting thing was a big deal, but Byron's been like very critical of himself and how he handled all that. Have you had to kind of console him a little bit in that regard or have him talk with him about that? No, not really. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's like you, you, know, you keep getting the same questions asked over and over. And, you know, at some point, you start questioning yourself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> know. It, it's not, it's not, to me, it's not much of a big deal. You know, you know, last year uh, with the minutes that I played, um, you know, I still felt pretty good. And then none of us knew that I was playing with a torn shoulder all season long. <laughs> right. You know, but the legs felt fine. You know, when you look at the minutes, you know, the first thing that you got to look at is the legs. So what does that tell you moving forward, you know, where even if you are conservative, there's still an air of uncertainty to some degree? Well, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, you just knock on wood and hope you don't have you know, a serious injury. I mean, the injuries that I've had the last three years have been serious injuries. You know, it's not things where you have uh, sore muscles or you know, things like that. I mean, these are serious injuries that are kind of freak injuries. So, and you just got to hope you don't have one of them. I didn't hear the first part. You talked about uh, limited participation in practices, preseason games, stuff like that. But particularly with games, you know that a lot of people come to watch you play. How do you balance kind of wanting to put on a show for people? Uh, well, but also listen to your body. Yeah, when, when you know, when I'm out there and I'm playing, I give 110 percent. Right, you know, that's what you that's what you have to do. You know, whether it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or it's 10 minutes, you know, it's my job to approach you with you know, playoff intensity and playoff focus. And uh, uh, you know, if I can go, I will definitely play. You know, well, I'm sure we'll limit minutes and things of that nature, but it's definitely my responsibility to step out there and play. Do you have an idea? That 82 is the full goal, or given everything, is it just game by game by game? We'll see. Well, you know, it's my job to train to be prepared for all 82. And then, you know, whether we want to scale back or, if, you know, I can't play, you know, we'll figure it out when the time comes. But it's my job to try to be physically ready to play all 82. I mean, that's always a goal. Cool. We talked about this uh, last season, but do you think all minutes are created equal in terms of, you know, maybe you can go a day? That's why they, they have to focus so much on a, on a minute restriction. Or can you play the same amount of minutes but with less? Yeah, or is yeah. It no, where it's it's you know all minutes are definitely are created, created equal. You know, I think we got some guys here this year that can really take a lot of load off, man. You know, D'Angelo and, and Clarkson, their ability to handle and create and, and make plays, and Julius making plays. I mean, it's uh, um, I think the minutes that I do play won't be as heavy of minutes as they have been in the past.